Need a prep talk? Well, you've come to the right place. So we have all of these excellent digital solutions and tools that gather so much great data for us. How can it help us as teachers focus on what really matters, which is helping our students progress in their own reading journeys? For this discussion, I'm so excited to welcome back the amazing and inspirational Madeline Hernandez from Broward School District. Was there ever a time, Madeline, where you weren't using as much data in the classroom? Oh, wow, yes. In the beginning of my career. (laughs) Can you talk, can you speak to that a little bit? Data is something that you acquire through your, data knowledge is something that you acquire through your years of teaching Mm -hmm. and experience and wanting to know more about your students. That's the one thing. And, And in the beginning of my career, I didn't know any better. I didn't know what data was. It fills a lot of the gaps that we don't see. For example, usage, time that the student is on there. It's like, buddy, you haven't been on here. And, you know, we made an agreement to, in the beginning of the week, that we were going to get on for 20 minutes, let's say. Not only that, I want to see how you're doing when you're on. I was listening, you were speaking a little bit about, you know, usage data and performance data, and you put it so perfectly. It's like, to know what the kids are doing and then how they're doing on it. That's, it. that's exactly what it is. And so if you could speak to what type of data have you found most beneficial in the classroom? As a teacher, I look at student growth. I look at that learning journey. I want them to leave that grade level knowing what they're supposed to know. So that next grade level could go ahead and build upon it because just not one teacher is going to impact the student. It's a multitude of teachers working together that is going to allow that student to succeed because at the end of the day, reading is a foundation for every other subject or content area, and they need to have that solidified yep. no matter what. But data is the thing that can help you figure that out. So you don't have to start empty with a blank empty. slate. You mm-hmm. you have something to start with. It gives you that baseline yeah. so that then you could build upon. You're right. And it, it's not just the one data point either. It's, you know, their reading level, it's mm-hmm. their skill level, it's their interests. It's so many different things that makes each kid who they are as a reader. And 100%. it's also important to kind of track that progress as they go, because if they're learning and they're growing, they're not staying in one place, you know, every single month of the school year, like they are, yep. they are growing each time. Or if they're not, that's something that, you know, you as a teacher reading a report would get the context for, like, you might be able to observe that in the classroom, obviously, but you might also need that context because maybe mm-hmm. you need to show the child exactly, you know, where that target area is. Maybe you need to show the family and maybe you just need to confirm it, you know? And uh, absolutely. I, Amanda, I, I am a true believer in everything you just said. You know, it, it makes you that informed teacher and that expert in the classroom and just it backs up what you already know. Yeah. It gives you the evidence. And when kids see it on paper, it becomes some, I, I don't know, it, it, it just becomes, it's like magic. It's like, oh, <laughs> I'm like, they actually see where they've been and where they've go, they're going and where they want to be. And, and, and the, that conversation starts and it's just, yeah. it's a magical thing when, when they're included. That's the one thing that I would always tell my, my parents, we need to include them in this because it's their journey, not mine, not yours. It's their journey. So let's see how they're doing. Let's print out whatever we need to print out so they could see their path. The whole idea of, you know, writing an objective on the board and sharing that with the mm-hmm. students, it's not just, the, you know, crossing something off the checklist. Yep. It, it actually helps them if you explain that objective to them, where it falls in their reading journey and how it's going to help them. They feel that ownership and they're like, Absolutely. okay, I, I know why I need to know this and I know mm-hmm. that it's going to help me. And that's it's that why. Yeah. It's the why. Why am I doing this? Like, lady, I don't, I don't care about, you know, asking (laughs) questions and, you know, main idea. (laughs) What? No, you know, that is huge. That objective is a huge thing. But how are we using it? Again, I go back to how are we seeing it? How are we using it? And how How, are we monitoring it? Exactly. Let's just simplify it. Let's go back to basics and see 
where we're at and where do we want to go. And let's build a plan, including a student that's going to be traveling <laughs> through that journey. Yeah. Again, this was a really insightful prep talk. I know I needed it, Madeline. So thank you again from the bottom of our hearts for the real talk and for the motivation. And now we want to hear from all of you. Have you found a great way to use data in your classroom? How did that data help you get to know your students? Have you shared that data with them? And how did that go? We would love to know about your experiences and your ideas. So please share them in the comments below and join us next time on Prep Talk.